So I recently got a comment on one of my YouTube videos asking for a little bit of advice in terms of SMMA. Okay, so the question goes, do you have any advice on how to stop switching business models? I keep changing to different models and now I want to go back to my incomplete SMMA that I had a website and Facebook thing for. It was mostly procrastination. I feel so unmotivated because this pattern has been going on for a year and I have made no progress and it really pisses me off. I feel like if I do go back to this model, I might change a month or later again. What the fuck is wrong with me? The reason as to why you're changing is because it's difficult and it's hard. And the reason as to why you're changing is because you're not getting what you want straight away. And the last reason as to why you're probably changing is because you're just not fucking good enough. And you really have two options here. You can take that comment and you can crumble. You can just keep on trying to switch and keep on trying and starting new businesses and throwing shit at the wall and maybe something one day will stick. Or you can take that comment and really drive change in your life. You can get a kick up the ass with that comment and really focus on yourself and your skills and really give social media marketing agencies a proper go, okay? Now, hopefully, didn't go in too harsh, but it needs to be harsh because no other way is going to make you take action, okay? The reason as to why you're probably quitting is because it's difficult, yes, and your expectations are set that you're going to start DMing a company and a week later, you're gonna have a thousand pound retainer or you're gonna be signing two, three, four clients a month. At the start, that doesn't happen. It's a very, very painful and long journey and a lot of people, especially beginners, go to SMMA as a model because it's quite frankly, it's one of the easiest models there. Okay, you're selling a service for a fee, for monetary value, whatever you wanna put on top of that, right? It's very, very simple. So that's why it attracts a lot of business owners and a lot of youngsters trying to be these business owners and these agency owners. But the reason as to why most, 99% of people fail in this model is because they're not persistent enough, because they just don't want it bad enough. That's all it fucking is, okay? You watch some Iman videos, you watch some Jordan Platten videos, although Jordan Platten, I still think is, is a decent guy compared to, to others. Um, but you watch these YouTubers, you watch these gurus sell you shit, sell you the lifestyle and you buy into it and you think that you're going to start an agency and you're going to document your journey and do all these bits and you don't get anywhere because you're just not good enough. And that's all that it is. And there are positions and there are certain situations in my life right now where I've been running my agency full time for seven months and I still come to these, to these situations where I'm just not good enough. But every single fucking time, there's, there's two options. I quit or I just get better. And every single time I choose the latter, I get better every single time. Every single sales call, every single failed to demo, every single lost client, I just wasn't good enough and I need to get better, okay? So here's exactly what I would do when you go back into starting an agency and really go back into building things out, okay? Before we do that though, I really wanna mention my blueprint. If you want to learn Facebook lead generation and really nail service delivery, which is one of the most important parts of running a marketing agency, go and check out my blueprint, go and download it, and I promise you, you're not going to regret it, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is you want to reflect. And you wanna really focus on things such as your bad habits, the media that you're consuming. Have you actually got the skills to deliver the service that you're trying to sell, or are you just pondering about and really just making shit up when you have conversations with people, even if, if it actually gets to that stage? Because if you're making shit up, obviously at this stage right now, you need to reflect what's important to you, what stage are you at in terms of your skills, okay? Here's a few things that I would look at in terms of my reflection. Your why, which is one of the most important things, like why are you even starting this? Are you starting this because you've seen some Lamborghini videos on YouTube or you know, you've seen somebody that sells a course and they're selling you the dream saying, start your agency now or become a growth operator or this and that and you've just thought, yes, I'm gonna do it, I can do it. And then a the week later down the line, you're just, you're just failing, okay? So you need to really reflect and really think about these things when you are taking this action and when you're really making this step forward to build a business. 
Think about your skills. Have you actually got the skills? Whether you're doing SEO, whether you're doing web design, whether you're doing paid advertising, whatever it is that you're going to be selling as an agency and as, quite frankly, a glorified freelancer, which, to be honest, there's no real shame in that. You're still an agency and you're branding yourself and you're positioning yourself as an agency, but quite frankly, you're still a freelancer unless you start delegating your tasks and you bring in people, etc., etc. okay? So really just take some time to reflect on, on these things, okay? Your skills, your habits, your why, who you actually are. Like, are you the person that you want to be? Are you starting a social media marketing agency when you're bored? And, you know, when, when it comes down to things, you go and play video games. Or you, when it comes down to things, you, you focus on other things, right? What's, what's, what's your reason as to why you're starting this? I think it's very important to... To really consider all these and check check your environment and do all these different things that that make you understand. Take a step back before you really proceed and go ahead with it. Just take a step back and focus on these things. Now the second thing is make a plan. Okay? And I'll say okay a lot of times, but your plan needs to be no bullshit. No pretty websites, no focusing on blogs and SEO and logos and all this other shit because what you need to do is you need to do these these things, okay? The first day You need a name Logo email Website That's all you need on day one these things will probably take you half an hour half an hour 15 minutes an hour, an hour, okay? And on this, on this socials thing, you need the pages, so you need to make sure that the name is available across the board, and really just focus on this for a single day. You don't wanna take longer than a day, because I know how frustrating it is spending weeks on the website. By the time you get to you know, publish the website, it's ready, buzzing. A couple of days go by, and you go back and look at it, and you think, I can do better, I'm not happy with this, let's do it again. And then the cycle of procrastination and the cycle of thinking you've been productive, I'm working on my agency, turns to wasting a fuck ton of time when you should be focusing on bringing in business. So this is your day one plan, right? Your name, logo, email, domain, so you look professional, your website, your socials, and content. And by content, what I mean is if somebody clicks on your website or clicks on your page, on your Instagram or on your Facebook page, they want to see a few pieces of content, whether it's yourself like me right now, speaking to a camera and explaining things, maybe your offer, maybe who you are, maybe your services, okay? Or whether it's just Canva carousel that you make in literally 15 minutes because there's templates online that you can choose and use and put things up straight away. A little bit of credibility, a little bit of trust building from or with, sorry, with the customer or potential customer. So that is all you need on day one. Day two is your offer. So that is the whole focus of the second day is all about your offer. You need a very fucking solid offer in 2024, in 2025, whatever it is year that you're starting this, you really need a solid offer. Generate leads doesn't work. People want more than that. People want appointments. People want sales. You need to look at the whole system. You can't just say you're going to run some paid ads for people. 95% of industries, niches, whatever it is, service-based businesses have already been approached by marketing agencies, by freelancers, by people posing to be a growth operator and selling the services. So you really need to focus on a really good offer that provides value to the marketplace and the business that you're reaching out to and is a fucking no-brainer. And I'm not gonna help you with this in this video. So all it is, is focus on your offer for your second day. Day three. Day three is bring in business. Bring in business. You don't need to focus on anything else. You don't need to start a limited company. You don't need to start looking at accountants and banks and all this other shit, okay? You don't really need to do any of that. All you need is a presence, a good offer, and start reaching out to businesses. That's all you need to do, bring in business. The one thing that I always say to anybody that starts a business and I com completely, constantly repeat to myself is bring in more business. Regardless of how much business I already have ahead of me in the pipeline, whatever it is, 
bring in more because people fall off, people change their mind. There's so many different reasons as to why from the start of a conversation doesn't always end in a sale, okay? So it's very, very important to understand that bring in business and bringing in business and activities that focus on that are your key thing to success. And obviously, that comes with outreach, right? Now, your main thing is gonna be either calling, DMing, or emailing. Niche specific, what works well, where is your ICP, so your ideal client profile, where are they hanging out? Are they gonna be in your emails? Are they gonna be scrolling their Instagram page? Or are they gonna be on the phone, ready to talk marketing and business? Down to you again. I'm not gonna guide you through everything, but I'm going to tell you these are the three most important ways. Your outreach structure is realistically going to look like this. It's very low down now, so I apologize. I might have to squat here, or I'm gonna bring my chair in um, and just do this this way, okay? First thing, can you see that? Yes, scrape. Obviously, you need to know there are people, <laughs> this looks funny, there are, there are people online, you need to find them. So you need to scrape the, the leads, whether it's auto, manual, doesn't matter. You need details of people to contact. The second thing, verify them. So make sure that they're good quality people, good, good prospects. And then finally, the third one is contact them. Uh, and obviously you're gonna have some sort of script for this, whether it's, you know, hi, this is a cold call, will you give me 30 seconds of your time? Or is it gonna be something more serious, more valuable, something that the business owner is actually gonna be like, let's talk, okay, you've caught my attention here, let's have a conversation. I know these, that probably works, and I'm just taking the piss, but yeah, you can see everything, that's your structure for your agency and starting out with your agency. And then once you get business in, okay, you've, you've been focusing, you've done all these things, it's day three, day four, maybe day 15. The last thing you've been doing is trying to bring business in. So you've been outreaching, you've been scraping, you've been verifying, and you've been contacting people through these three methods. The next thing is you've jumped on a call. What do you talk about? Go and watch my discovery calls video. I have a video talking about the entire structure for your discovery calls, okay? So you, I don't need to explain this now because I already have... Before, the video stands, the video was posted probably a couple of months ago now, but it's still very valuable. Go and watch that. The next thing is you brought business in. You've won business. Somebody said, yes, let's do it. Your offer works well. What you're offering actually will work for our business. Let's do it. Here's an exact plan what you're going to do after that. You're going to take payment. You're going to take payment, sign contract. Do not say contract. I'm just saying this for this video, but do not say contract. People don't like contracts. It's a very icky thing where it pushes the prospect back. You don't want to say contract. You wanna say service agreement or some sort of agreement. It's just going to sign something so we know that we're going to be working together. It's an official document, black and white. Everything's on paper, outlined what we're going to do, okay? The next thing you're going to do is once you've taken the payment and signed the contract, you're going to onboard the client. You're literally going to send them a Google form asking them a bunch of fucking questions. What's the registered address? What's the company name? What's the best email address? What's the best phone number? How many leads do you want? What are you are we advertising in? Um, pff, all sorts of different stuff, right? That's exactly what you're going to do. If you've got high level and you're onboarding onto high level, for example, then you're obviously going to set everything up on high level. But in the meantime, you need access to whatever you need. Okay, so access. Uh, let's say access controls. Let's put that. So everything that you need to control, if it's for paid advertising, obviously you need the Facebook page and ad manager, you need access to that. Ideally, what I do is I do these two together on the call. And then these two are done 
afterwards. Uh, once the pay when the person is paid and we've got access to whatever needs we need access to, they're happy to carry on and they don't drop off. A lot of the times, very, especially very early on when I did um, you know, demos and I said, yeah, let's do it. They said they said they want to go ahead and do it. And I said, okay, cool. I'll send you a link to the payment and um, you'll then add us to the ad account and we'll go from there. Never fucking heard from them again, okay? It is what it is. That's how, that's how things run. But yeah, the last thing, obviously, if you're doing ads, um, again, this is going to be specific for different service delivery that you're going to be doing, but collect images. All right, so let's just do content. Can you see that? Yes, you can. If you can't, I don't know, zoom in or something. Collect content, images, videos, send them over a Google Drive document saying, post all your shit in here. I'm gonna edit it and I'm gonna run ads with it. Run ads with it, Jesus. And that is one of the last things. The next thing you're gonna focus on, we're currently a good few minutes in, so you better appreciate this answer. The next thing you're gonna do is when you're doing that and you've signed somebody and you brought business in, do not stop your outreach. It's one of the most important things and you're gonna learn the hard way. If you bring somebody in and you stop your outreach completely, you're going to fucking go back to that same cycle of if you lose that person, it's gonna be like, shit, I'm not gonna do this again. Let's just switch up. Let's go to a different model or whatever. So you don't wanna do that. You wanna focus on continuously reaching out to people, bringing in business. If you can't handle the volume that you were doing before you signed the client, just reduce the volume. As long as you're doing it, it's still very, very good to be doing it at all times, okay? You don't wanna learn the hard way, I promise you that. I've stopped multiple times and shit went wrong with clients, shit went wrong with prospects and I didn't have anybody to fall back on and I had to make ends meet, okay? So you don't wanna be doing that. And that's pretty much it. I had a few more notes for this, but I'm just gonna leave it at that. Hopefully, it was of much value Focus on the stuff that you're consuming because a lot of the times if you're just starting this and you're scrolling on TikTok before bed and somebody says, SMMA is dead, do this instead, you start reevaluating your whole life. I promise you SMMA isn't dead. The next big thing isn't the next big thing. It's only the next big thing if you go and buy the fucking course and the person has your attention. So don't do that. Don't be foolish. Most of the younger people are going to fall for it because it's just how it works. They prey on young, impressionable individuals to really fucking make their money, right? So just focus on one thing at a time, commit to something for a very long time, stay persistent, watch what you fucking watch on social media. I know that sounds stupid, but watch what you watch and just give it a proper good go. Give it your everything. Don't, get, don't half-ass it because you're not gonna get anywhere if you half-ass it. I've half-assed it for three to four years calling myself a freelancer because I was failing at starting an agency. You really need to commit to something and really need to give it your all. But it all starts with your why. It all starts with why the fuck do you wanna do it? Do you wanna do it to impress others? Or do you wanna do it because you wanna financially support your parents? That's what fucking drives you. None of that materialistic shit fucking matters. You can go flex on Instagram, but quite frankly, nobody gives a fuck anyway. Who are you gonna impress? People at school? You don't care about them anyway. People at your old job? Who cares? Anyway, enough of that. Hopefully this video was of value. If it was, leave me a comment with something and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Don't forget about the blueprint as well.